Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video of Seven Days to Die. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are on day 16, 1700 time. We have some stuff to do. I believe the last thing that we wanted to do before we ended the last episode. Shout out to the last episode, by the way. Make sure you guys check that guy out. But the last thing we wanted to do was keep doing these quests. I think that's pretty much just our whole general like synopsis of up until uh up until rate day i want to do a lot of quests mainly just because of the experience that's that's really the only reason on it bro my games is lagging a little bit uh sorry for the lag but yeah mainly just for experience just so we can go ahead and get this turret situation going on i you know this whole turret situation is it's a lot okay it's a lot you need a lot of things for for turrets and seven days to die to actually be effective uh within your base especially resources like ammunition and just make ooh, making the turrets in general you know what i mean level five bow not bad uh, enough about turrets we got to focus on this actual quest now that we're here doesn't seem like that big of a yeah, take that back we're gonna go wow okay we're gonna have to go all the way around the house apparently it's 1700 time so i'm hoping oh hello i'm hoping we'll have enough time to do this and get ourselves another quest especially a nighttime quest um i'm not sure if there's a nighttime quest available at the trader or an, oh oh sir 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 how did i miss come here there we go. There we go. I'm not sure if there's a nighttime quest or not at the uh, at the trader. It'd be interesting if there was, though. It'd be amazing if there was. But if there is, we definitely have to stop getting hit by everything. Okay, two zombies in. We've gotten hit by every single zombie so far. That is that is not good. I remember. Now I'm thinking about it. I believe we've done a quest exactly like this before, like the exact same house. You know what I mean? Like nothing looks different at all at this point. Like the the way that I'm traveling and everything. Like you got to go outside of here and then go this way. Zombie right here. You know I was looking for you, buddy. I thought you were gonna, you know, thought he was gonna be like your friend, hide inside the cabinet. But yeah, this looks mad familiar. Oh yeah, we go to the ceiling. We go all the way around, and then we just fall down into like the main part of the base. Hello, hello fall down in here bunch of zombies around us so oh, yep forgot about those bombs right there um if i remember correctly there's really not any good loot inside these cabinets here so i'm still gonna spend time opening them because i am not smart <laughs> i am not smart i'm low-key rushing just a little bit just because of that clock man i keep looking at the clock and i'm like Ooh, 1700 mm, you know what i mean like we need to get home at least like two, like at least 20. Like we probably got like two hours in this house to raid it and to do the quest at the same time. Of course, I got to open these lockpicks just because we got the assault rifle last time. Every single lockpick situation that I come across, I'm going to open it regardless now, regardless, because you never know. You know what I mean, man? You never really truly know. It could be something amazing in there. Hello. Hello. All right. Oh, hello. I know there's another one somewhere in here. There's got to be right. I got another abrasion. That heals my abrasion, right? Yeah, it went from an hour to 20 minutes. That's crazy. I don't even know what the uh, the side effect of abrasions are, to be honest. I just don't like seeing it there. All right, any more of you? Anywhere? We gotta go down here now. Okay, okay. The hello? No one here? Oh yeah, I remember. I can't, uh, I can't crouch here. That sucks. I wish you could crouch under that. That'd be really cool if you could. Anything? Some pipey pipe pipes. Wood generator. Going like that. Oh! Thank you for protecting my loot. I am now here to collect. And it's ooh, a beer recipe. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use that, but I mean, it's nice to have. You know what I mean? First time I've ever seen a beer recipe, though. That's kinda, that's kind of cool. I wonder what ingredients you need to actually like to like make it. You know? Um, let's drink. You know, we shouldn't drink that. Let's eat some food because our food is a little bit low, and we need some space in our inventory real quick. So we could just go ahead and do that. Zandy. Zandy. 
and they're all dead. At least I thought. Now they're all dead. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. So that's how you leave, I believe. Loot's in here, right? Yeah. And that's that's really about it. I mean, that was actually way easier than I thought. Mainly, probably because I already knew like the layout of the base and everything, and I didn't uh, I didn't really like have to like struggle to learn where everything was because I already been here before. So that's probably why. Let's see what's inside of these uh these loot boxes though. So far, it's just been mediocre. I'll be honest. Whoa. Hop seed recipe and vehicle off road. Mm. I guess this is the big boy right here. Hopefully we didn't really find anything. It's just a bunch of like filler content. You know what I mean? Like a, a bunch of filler loot. That's what I'm gonna call it now. Filler loot, you know? Not no guns, you know what I mean? No, you know, nothing crazy. Just a bunch of filler loot. And this guy is giving me a headache. Unlock yourself, sir. Unlock yourself, sir. Here we go. This is the one. Oh, this is the one. Wow. Okay. It's okay though. I got, I got fifty. I got, I got plenty. We could be here all day. We could be here all day, Mister Reinforced Crate, Reinforced Chess. We could be here all day. I'm not, I'm not afraid. Come on. You're gonna unlock yourself eventually. I'm gonna spend twenty lock picks on this. You're going to unlock yourself. This is crazy. That took so many. That took so many lockpicks for no reason. Oh, steel tool schematic. That's good because we can pretty much upgrade everything with that. All right for a truck accessory schematic. Not bad. Not too bad. We got ourselves a machete. Melee damage. Oh, it does more damage than uh than my bat. I think my bat's done a little bit more. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Oh no, it does. It does two less damage than my bat, but it's better in like every other area a machete wow okay i'm gonna put this here i'm gonna, I'm gonna try using it I'm try using it for a little bit let's take some steroids because we're, we're hooked on steroids i'm gonna try using this um hmm never used the machete before it'll be interesting i want to use this uh yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead and activate the quest I'm going to use this just a little bit. We're just going to rush this, honestly, just because uh, timer and everything. I already know we're all to pretty much. I thought you were decoration, my friend. You scared me. I thought you were decoration. I have to kill him. I need food. We got to get the meat. Got to get the meat. I could have sworn, like, the way that he looked, it just looked like he was decoration. Like, for real. Which one of you is bone? Oh, we already got raw meat in there. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh get you pipes. Thank you. Our inventory is like mad full. Machete, though. Hmm. If it's as good as my bat, I mean, I might as well, right? Like, is there a torch right there? And then I got to deal with you. Hello. All right, all right. Not too bad so far. Keep in mind, this guy is level one. It's a level one machete. He's not even leveled up. My bat's level five with attachments. Okay, a bat with attachments, level five, versus a level one non-attached machete. That's that's the comparison right here. One slice, two slice, three slice, and he's dead. Interesting. It feels like it swings slower than my bat. Yeah, the swing is definitely slower than a bat. But I think the damage is more like it's like it's better, you know, and it feels better. I'm going to be honest. I got a whole big blade and it's just chopping away. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it like feel wise, it definitely feels better versus the bat. Maybe I'm just over the bat, though. Maybe that's it. Because the first time I got the bat, I was like, man, I got a bat, bro. This is lit. But then I got over it. And now I'm just like slicing heads off. Oh my God. I'm dirty, bro. I'm dirty. I'm dirty. This feels lit. I like it. I want to make a machete now. Like a higher level one. With some attachments and everything. I think that'd be great. I'm definitely not going to use iron knuckles. Let's just get rid of that now. Free up some space while we can. We're at 2K right now. We're a little bit on time. Kinda. 
I don't know if we'll be back but, uh, before the trader though. The trader's crib closes kind of soon. The reach isn't. I don't know. I, I don't think the reach is as good as the as the bat though. But it's fine, you know. Especially when the zombies are rocking slow, it's fine. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get back to the trader, bro. I think the trader closed at 2150. And right now we're at 2130, right? And then we still got the, the big loot to loot out. We don't know how many lockpicks that's gonna take. And then we gotta drive all the way back there and everything. Hopefully we'll be good. I doubt it. But I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping. Nothing in here. Oh, forgot about this. Get that. We don't need feathers. I'm gonna use the bat for now, just because uh, it's it's on it's 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 one right. It's the it's the one on the keyboard, which you know is a lot easier to reach than the the nine on the keyboard, you know, or the whatever number the machete's on. So I'm gonna just use this for now, just so I can like quickly switch between my uh, my bat and the uh, the axe and everything. Where are we at? Twenty. All right, we might be able to make it. If we do, it'll be close. Be really close. I'm hoping right now. Trying. Okay, let's go to the loot room. All right, loot room. Open up. I heard you, bro. Yeah, footsteps, my friend. Footsteps. Come on, don't take a lot of lockpicks like your friend did. Your friend ate me up about 15 lockpicks. I need you to just open for me, please. Please? 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 Five seconds? Four seconds? Three seconds? Don't break. Don't break. Ooh. Don't you do it. You're gonna do me like him, don't you? You're gonna do me dirty. He's gonna do me dirty. He's gonna do me dirty. We got 50 minutes, bro. We're not making it. No way we are. Oh, here we go. Okay. Nice. Uh, I want the treasure map. I don't care about you. You. I want all of this, though. I want all of that. Gun. I want those. I want all of this. I want those, both of those. Um, Get rid of you for you. Man, I'm almost hesitant to just not open these crates right now. Yeah, we're definitely not making it. I have to open these crates, man. I can't just leave these crates here. I can't. I cannot just leave these crates here. And not collect them, right? Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> I need that. Okay, we need that. I don't even have to get rid of you guys. Ah, uh, okay. Ammo. We definitely need that ammo. All right, that's everything. Okay, let's leave. That's everything. Let's get out of here. Open up, please. We got 20 minutes. Can we make it? We might be able to make it. This is going to be close. Oh my God, you're coming after me. It's okay. I'm on a motorcycle. I'm on a motorcycle. We're fine. We're fine. This is going to be way close. I think we make it though. 20 minutes. I know Trader Joe's. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Let us speak, Take an iron spear. Thank you. Um, do you have any jobs? And night only. Accept. Let's go. Let's, um... Get rid of the letter for the money and we'll get rid of the lead for the iron spear. Okay. I'm sorry, Trader Jones. <laughs> Man, that was close, bro. Holy crap, that was close. All right. We got a nighttime quest to do now, though, which is awesome. That's awesome. Heck was that noise? Oh, you're a screamer. Yeah, let's. And then a dog right next to you. I don't got time for them screamers. She's gonna tell the whole horde to come after me. I'm gonna leave my bike there. But yeah, let's put everything away. That was crazy though. We almost didn't make that one. Put the parts, everything in here. I do like this machete. How do you make another one? Machete. Level one though. Yeah. It's a level one machete. Um. Can we put attachments on this? Modify it so we can. Okay, I might try to just bring that. Whoa, what? How'd you get in here? Ex excuse?
Excuse me? Excuse me? Is that how? Did the sledge hit them? And he just magically fell right here? And just walked towards me? That's weird. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, we need we need to put our stuff away. We don't really have time to like reminisce and uh and everything. Mainly because Mainly because we need to get to this location and do this quest. That's the main reason. But I also don't want to rush, right? I don't want to rush and go to it because then we're just going to mess up on something. And that's not going to be good. I'm trying to figure out where I'll need everything, though. Um, We're not taking an Iron Spear on us, so we could drop you off. I, I'm going to take all three of these because it's a nighttime quest, of course. Um, We don't need all this ammunition. Triple. Let's put the attachments there. We got ourselves a two treasure maps. We need to do those. We need to do those treasure maps just because treasure maps to be lit. Re-up on some supplies here. I think all this is good. We'll take some painkillers with us as well. We got food. Got the lock picks. Um, I'll put this in miscellaneous. I think we are good for the most part. I think we're good. All right, it's uh, 1.2 kilometers away, so I'll see you guys once I actually get there. All right, so as soon as we made it to the quest location here, what are we looking at? They were not alive. Oh, it's a movie theater. Huh. Interesting. It's a movie theater. All right, we got time here, so we're not going to activate it just yet. I've actually lived in one of these movie theaters before. So I know a little bit about it. Um, mo most of the loot is over to the left. So a little bit of, you know, is over there. But we're going to head over to this left location first. Uh, so I actually kind of broke my way in here. The last time that I lived in here, look at all that loot. But I high key broke my way into here last time. So I really don't know what's the official way of getting inside of one of these. Because that door is just locked, right? So really don't know i'm gonna walk around a little bit because you know how quests are right there's always that door that you have to go into to officially like start the quest up right so that's pretty much what i'm looking for i'm thinking that i could just use a lock pick though realistically on one of these doors uh which is something i think i'm actually going to do these birds keep coming for me we can handle them now, but I'm going to use a lockpick on this one. Uh, oh, I actually can't. Wow. So we have to find like an actual way of getting in here. I believe. Kill this bird. Hey, man. There's also a dog wandering about. I don't want to attract too much attention to myself because once I start shooting, bro, everything's going to come to me. You know what I mean? And I don't want that to happen yet. I got, I got to figure out a way to get like in here, though. I actually don't know. Hmm. I guess we can, uh... Hello. I guess we could just try to go do this way, because I know... Is it this way? No, it's not, actually. Whoa. Whoa. I might equip the bat just because the bat does a little bit more damage. I'm now noticing just a little bit more damage, like enough to make a difference type damage. Like, wow, can't believe he actually hit me right there. He was like mad far. OK, so that doesn't really go anywhere. We're going to kill his dog. We got to kill the dog. Look at me too funny. I'm assuming that woke up some zombies, though. It definitely did. Huh, how in the world do we get inside of this place? Maybe... Maybe we actually have to break a door down. I'm gonna check the outside area here. Because I'm thinking that we might actually have to break a door down. Unless there's a way to get in here through one of these areas. Which doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, I'm gonna break this door down. We're breaking this door down.
Alright. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, we're fine! Right, we're fine, right? I was not expecting there to be two dogs and, and two zombies right there. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. And my shotgun wasn't reloaded. That was bad. We're fine uh, for the most part. It's a good thing we brought kills with us. We do have a broken leg, which means we'll probably have to find a sprain or something to fix that. Either that or just overtime heals. So I think that just goes to where we were beforehand. We're gonna break this, yeah. I just want to get to big loot. That's all I care about right now is just getting to the big loot. Which I don't know where the big loot is right now. Because I want to reset the quest and double loot. That's my goal right now is being able to double loot. I think we go this way. All right, let's uh, get some steroids in this. That'd be helpful. Dang, how do you even get to the big loot, bro? Like what? I don't want it to hit 4 a.m. and then I can't activate the quest. That's my only issue right now. So I know I, the generator is gonna be that. So we know where that's at already, which is good. Here's the big loot, you see? All right, let's do this. Probably gonna be some zombies in here or not. I want this hardened chest, bro. This is what I want. I know there's something good in here, bro. It's got to be something amazing here. One o'clock in the morning. I think we got until like two to activate the quest, maybe. So let's just loot up and go straight to, to activate the quest. Because I need I need the double loot here. Woo! You see, now I'm, we're not even going to look at it yet. We're not even going to look at it. We're not even going to look at it. Holy, holy crap, holy crap. All right. We're fine. You can't get in here. She can't get in here. We're fine. We're fine. I don't even know what that was. Looks like a freaking giant hammer of death. And I like it. Get all of this. I'm, I'm betting on two o'clock in the morning being uh, the time. That's the time we have. And so we can no longer activate the daytime quest. That's what I'm assuming right now. All right, I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Man, we collected a lot. A lot of stuff I haven't even seen before. All right. And no, it's one. Damn, bro. So it's one o'clock in the morning. That's the time we have until we can activate it. Now I know though, now I know. So it's a learning process, now I know. But that still sucks. That still kind of sucks. I was betting on it being two and not one that entire time. All right, is that everything? That still sucks though. I wish I would've known that beforehand. We could've double looted in there. We might as well just clear out this entire POI then, right? We might as well get all the loot out of here, come back tomorrow, um, and then we'll, we'll be able to loot it then. Or like quest loot it then. Just make sure we get everything out of here first. I don't think I missed anything in there, right? Pretty sure I didn't. Everything in there was good. So we gotta loot over there in those areas. Um. I doubt there's there, there's not as much loot as it was in there. That was like the biggest loot pile I've ever seen, bro. Like, I, I don't even want to look at everything we got right now. I don't. I'm going to wait till we get back home before we reminisce and everything. We got this locksmith or a uh, lock safe that we have to open up real quick. Hopefully there's something amazing in here. Oh, oh sir. Oh, you're one of those. Woo. Get some heels on us. There we go. I know you like that. Some painkillers as well, just in case. And then I don't have a bandage to stop the bleeding, so. Oh, yes, we do. There we go. 
I don't think that did anything. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it didn't do anything. I don't know. Either way, I think we killed all the zombies. We should be good now. We should be good. I didn't think there was a dog. I thought it was like, you know, one of those small dogs. It was a freaking wolf came after me. A level four AK machine gun. I'm actually going to scrap that. Um, just because we've got a level five one. I'd rather have the armor parts to make a make a big one, you know? A level six or something. If I can even craft that high. I don't even know if I can. Might be something else in here. Generator. What does that do? Yeah, I have no clue. What oh, wait, did that open something down there? Maybe that opened something down there, possibly. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, let's let's leave, actually. Let's leave. Let's, uh, hmm. Let's leave. I'm, I'm on board of leaving right now. <laughs> let's get out of here. That was a lot of zombies. I don't like seeing that many zombies. Let's leave. I went the wrong way. I'm trying to leave, I went the wrong way. I'm gonna just mow them all down. I was only one of them. Everyone else was just breaking down the doors and everything. All right, um, I'm gonna go back home. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. We'll, we'll look over all the loot that we got. Sad that we wasn't able to do the nighttime quest. That sucks, but uh, we'll definitely be able to do it once, uh, you know, tomorrow night hits. So that's that'll be a good thing. That'll be a good thing. I'm excited for the loot we get in there too. I think it'll be amazing. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back home. All right, we're back home. We got two screamers down there. She already screamed, so yeah. I'm expecting the horde to come my way. At least a mini one. At least this time I'm in my base, you know, and I can actually like handle it. But yeah. So as far as the loot goes, oh wow. As far as the loot goes that we got, big loot that already spoke to me is the beaker. All right, we got the beaker. Got ourselves a 2x skull, which might be a little bit better for the AK. Maybe. Got to see how it looks. Potentially, we got raw diamond. Which is nuts. When mining, you will occasionally find rare metals or materials. Surely they are worth something to someone. Selling these 600, uh, 600 rubles, which is awesome. We got that. Uh, we got ourselves a arrow rest. An arrow rest improves the accuracy of the bow. That's pretty cool. I guess it's like a scope for the arrow. It's pretty nice. Another steel tool schematic. We're like we can make steel. Yeah, we can already make steel tools, which I definitely want to get into. Hundred percent want to get into this. Um. I think it'd be amazing, but we can already make them, right? So this schematic pretty much means nothing. Was oh my god, hello. But yeah, this schematic pretty much means nothing to us. So we're just gonna put that over. Uh, we're just gonna put that up. Um, where is it? Right here. We're just gonna put that up. Uh, we got a new and threat value one. Let's go ahead and learn that. We learned baked potato, which is pretty cool. We learned burning shaft mod as well, which is also pretty cool. They're just beating down my base right now. It's really the screamers that I just got to kill. That's really what needs to die right here. It's just the screamers because they keep screaming and like getting more zombies over here. They can jump up there. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's probably how the dogs got in here, maybe. They can just jump up there and get in. Not good. Here's a screamer. We need to kill the screamer. There's another one over there, too. There's a lot of zombies down there. They're almost looking like ants. Please, show yourself to me again. I know I shot you, but there you are. I think she died. I hope she died. I think she died. All right, we're just going to let uh, Mr. Sledge do the rest of the work while we reminisce in our items that we got again. We also got this steel sledgehammer, which is kind of crazy. I've never had a steel sledgehammer before. This thing is huge. I don't even have enough stamina to use it because my stamina regeneration isn't regenerating anything. Holy crap. First aid kit or the sewing kit? Okay. 
so we need a first gate kit we we got destroyed that last uh that last freaking raid man let's use this give ourselves a splint which we can't eat some vitamins that might help a little bit alloy cream might help a little bit we're just taking all our meds at this point all the meds you never know what's gonna happen what's not you know this is an interesting little steel slash though but that's pretty much all that we got um nothing else is really stand out to me except the fact that we don't have any water at all that i just realized for some reason <laughs> like what Reach some more of this but yeah i'm gonna put all this stuff away and i'll see you guys uh once i get back all right i'm back i had to deal with like a little mini raid bro like there was like three four screamers just constant continuously screaming calling in more screamers and calling in more zombies and i was gonna let the robotic sludge deal with it but there were so many zombies i was like you know what um maybe it's not the best idea because all they kept on doing was beating down my freaking base bro so i was like you know what i'm just gonna take initiative here and then just start you know i'm just gonna shoot them and that's what i did i killed them all uh i used a sniper for the first time so that was lit uh, but yeah shotgun mr machine gun came in clutch um but yeah once i get like a more uh, self-defensive automatic self-defense base i wouldn't mind something like that happening but i need a lot more turns for that to happen you know what i mean like i need a lot more turns because mr sledge here he's great don't get me wrong but he's definitely not going to be able to take on something like that alone right he's gonna need some buddies with him which means i'm gonna have to level up which actually i did level up um i leveled up i have two skill points to use which we can either use that in perception or intellect um and i'm thinking intellect is probably the way to go yeah because that costs two points uh i believe intellect is the way to go at least a little bit. double guessing myself a little bit here uh because if i get this i can craft great quality robots 40 percent more damage faster fiery reload robot yeah okay robots at the range 17 meters we want that right so i mean we might as well get intellect because for this we need intellect 10 so we're gonna have to do that which is gonna be nutty very nutty and we do more headshot damage which is good it's really good so yeah um yeah that, that happened that was a thing which is a weird thing to happen but it happened for sure we got a lot of food from that a lot of canned food from that which is awesome i don't even know what that is but we're just gonna put that there because i don't know what it is simple i don't know where it is so we're just gonna put it in a random spot simple put all of our ammo up boop boop but yeah that kind of happened yeah um i'm gonna end it here definitely gonna end it here hopefully next episode we'll get that nighttime quest done if not there's definitely gonna be the one after that but i appreciate you guys watching thank you and i see you guys in the next one you have a good one peace